a work zone along the Skajakwita Expressway now costing drivers hundreds. Many of you travel along the 198 on your daily commute, so you may want to watch your speed as a construction zone speeding camera has been fining neighbors. Now the over three mile quarter, which connects the I-190 to Route 33, is a 30 mile per hour zone. Now the speed limit, a point of contention for years as the speed limit drops from 50 to 30 as you enter the expressway. That frustration being echoed tonight by neighbors now stuck with a fine due to a camera under the Main Street overpass. Now tonight I traveled along the 198 to meet up with two of those neighbors, calling these fines a money grab. And I also spoke with residents who tell me that they're not a fan of the cameras, but want some kind of warning along the way. Driving down the 198, you may have noticed construction in the area, maybe even a speed camera or two. I got two tickets in one week. Buffalo resident Patrick Freeman tells me driving down the 198 requires a quick change in speed from 50 miles per hour to 30 miles per hour. It turns very quickly to 30 miles an hour where you have to slow down. But the problem is, is that you've got uh, the Sisters Hospital exit, then you have a merging uh, exit to get on the 198, and then the exit that I have to take is to get off at Parkside, and they're very close to each other, and if you're in the left lane, you have to speed up to try to get over, and then you slow back down. He says he paid for both tickets online, but plans to dispute it. Cost me $50 a ticket plus the surcharge, about $107.50. Freeman tells me the first ticket was acquired by one of his kids driving his car. The second one was Freeman behind the wheel. You can see his brown Cadillac SUV driving in this video. It's truly hard to go from 50 to 30. Buffalo resident Richard James takes the 198 westbound about three to four days a week when coming to the gym. And like Freeman, James is calling it a money grab. I have gotten a speeding ticket before. Usually you go, you get points on your license, and usually those are more than $50. So to me, it's like y'all just trying to get money, the state that is. I spoke with neighbors at Hoyt Lake Tuesday afternoon, one telling me the speed camera is fine, but a warning sign would be nice. I feel like you should transition down in speed from 50 to 45, then 30, or have what Audrey was saying, like with the warning side, so at least people know that the speed's going down and something like that. Uh, I think it definitely poses certain risks, especially like if you're going 55, or 50 and then it goes like drastically to 30 realistically to not get a ticket you would have to really be slamming on your brakes and I think that poses risk to drivers behind you and as a former police officer Freeman adds that having the speed camera takes away the compassion that a good law enforcement officer does when enforcing the law and that includes uh, vehicle and traffic laws or penal law you look at the dimension of the person that's affected a camera cannot do that and I was not given the same courtesy that I gave other residents for 30 and a half years.